Now, you're still watching Ways. Today is National Hanging Out Day. And no, it's not about parties and get, uh, get together, but about clothes. How do you dry your clothes? Do you put them in the dryer or do you hang them outside on a cloth line? Now, National Hanging Out Day was created to show the benefits of hanging clothes on a cloth line and the importance of saving both money and energy. It was created by Project Laundry List and Environmentalist Group. Some of us are still traditional. Like, the washing machine is there. Thank you for drying my clothes. But listen, I, I like to save. I like to cut down the electricity bill. So washing machine, you've done the laundry fantastic. So wait, the drying machine. Just take your clothes outside. Besides, it's healthier when the sun dries it. That was that's where if, I was even coming to. You know, it's not a rainy season. Yeah, you know abroad, most times they use their dryers and all of that. But the truth yeah. is that the traditional going out in the sun to hang those clothes, it kills germs, bacteria, you mm -hmm. know. I saw a research online where they picked out towels from different women and yeah. they did like a test. If you see the millions of bacteria that those towels have. And you know, most times people dry their towels in their bathrooms and all of yeah. that. But my brother-in-law does something all the time. Immediately the children are done having their bath. He, he packs all the, oh, yeah, all the towels, takes them out. So it's very important to dry our clothes out in the sun. Even outside the saving of money and energy. Yeah, well, it depends on the season. So, for instance, when it's uh, winter season or spring yeah. or, um, like, our rainy season in Nigeria. Yeah, it would be difficult you, that, to... That, that would be difficult, except yeah. you know you're going to be home to watch over the clothes. Other than that, just use your drying machine or spread it inside. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Sansi, what do you find first in the news today? Okay, so, uh, in the U.S., this is from uh, the Punch newspaper in the U.S., I think they're in they're done with month they are into second month of lockdown so right now we have people protesting in certain cities the highest number was in michigan with over three thousand people and then there is san diego california austin texas um new hampshire columbus ohio they're all coming out different people different states to protest saying listen you either live free or you die and you know americans they love their freedom and it's just i find this interesting because for them, they're not worried about numbers, which obviously one of the ladies says that um, it is time to reopen the city and let people work since the impact is not high. Given the numbers, given the population of America, it's really not worrisome. Now, their statistics currently as of Saturday evening is over 734,000 people um, confirmed cases and um, over 38,000 deaths. And you're saying it's not worrisome given the number, given the population of the country. I mean, it, it's okay to tell the, the, the um, tell President Trump and people in government that you need to find alternatives. But to say, open up the gates and, you know, end no, the lockdown, that's, that's, that's... Even in fact, I saw another protest online. I think it was in South Africa also. They were complaining. Yeah. The truth is that, honestly speaking, this is actually exposing how we've lived all these years. People truly mm -hmm. are not economically empowered. And no matter how empowered you are, even for the uh, middle class people, we're seeing that if this extension should go maybe another two months, yeah. we don't even think we too will probably take the placard and we'll go outside. But so, the truth is, hunger and poverty kills has killed a lot more people mm -hmm. than corona. But I was listening to someone and he was saying that the reason why it's obvious out there why there is all this lockdown is because it's not um it doesn't look at your status covid doesn't look at your status definitely you know so if if uh you know what i might as well not just say this it's 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 a silent conversation we should have in the makeup room no problem <laughs> <laughs> all right so my story I, I decided to go soft this evening yeah. um i went on twitter as usual looking for what is trending okay let's see what we'll talk about yesterday i talked about um, the burial and I was all emotional. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Mm -hmm. But I've seen that the government is trying to do some damage control, but it, it's not working though. So today, um, Simi was trending online and I, I hear it's her birthday today. And of course, she now released the video finally confirming all our <laughs> all our speculations of her baby bump. It was such a beautiful video. Do you care? I think that's the name of the song. It was really nice. I struggle to listen to her music because most times I don't understand what she's saying. Because, but yeah, she does she have a beautiful voice and I enjoy the melody. Yeah. However, I have known Simi is pregnant since, I mean, <laughs> I've had my suspicions, but um, I think by February, I was, it was very was clear very to me that, sure. listen, this woman is so pregnant. She's like heavily <laughs> pregnant. I don't know what you're I hiding. Love the, I love the lyrics of the song. I'm not Yoruba, but I'm trying to learn how to, to, to the, the language. I love the lyrics of the song. Uh, writing a love note to your unborn child. 
was quite nice. Oh, I that's what it. it means. Yeah, I mean the 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 lyrics. What she she was um, showing the child, the unborn child love, and I think yeah, I that's like a it. good way to create memory. Yeah. So in the spirit of checking up on all our viewers, we decided to call um, Lanre Kazim Abib Bola. <laughs> Hello, Lanre, are you there? Hi, Larry. If you can hear me, how are you doing? I'm hearing you loud and clear. Oh, thank you for joining us, Larry. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm, always, I'm a fan of you guys. So. Oh, thank you. Thank you for watching the show. So we thought to check up on you. How have you been coping with the lockdown? What's happening? Wow. Funny though, um, I know this guy is everywhere for me. Especially when I check out every month, I stayed everyone really taking that, that distance, and you, you know, it's so it's so it's so funny. Well, but personally, I think I've been good. It's been a time for me to reflect, um, more engaging. Now it seems 24 hours is not even enough for me, you wow. know, battling with work and some you know, personal family and with kids trying to get them busy as well as well i think it's been fun so far <laughs> it's been i think that's how very but well, personally i'm enjoying myself oh okay oh wow i i, I mean i literally have nothing so to well, say well, i'm well, just well, how, how is your work though how have you been coping have you been able to work from home effectively yeah i think that's another great thing you know i'm beginning to i'm, I'm beginning to enjoy my work much better fact that I can actually work from home yeah so it's something we've embraced at work and another thing is to be more busy because you know you just expected to get up from your bed and you're just heading straight so there's no traffic there's no formula traffic you nothing <laughs> and you're much calmer you're much better adding more value so I think it's been great actually thank you yeah, so it's been. I understand that you have uh, daughters uh, your daughter's birthday is today Yes, Alia Kazima Bimbo. Yes, Alia, but uh, is she, she is, she, is, she, is she close okay, by? Pardon, okay. what did you say? What? Is Alia close by? Today is her birthday. No, not at all. Not okay, at all. so not tell her we is. love her and happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much. Us, all yeah, right, so thank bye. You, you guys are doing a great job. Thank, thank you. you. Thank all you. Right. So we'll keep watching the show. Definitely, I will. All right. <laughs> All right, so Professor Patitomi will join us right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.